everybody. It is live time. Hope you guys are having an amazing weekend. Um, things here have been busy but fun. Um, doing the make and takes yesterday was um, a blast. So I hope that you guys um, got to see those pictures and got to see what everybody created. Um, we'll be doing another one on Saturday. If you are catching me on the replay, um, please let me know that you're watching the replay. Um, and that way, I know you've been here. Um, so today we are gonna do something that I need to remind myself all the time. It's called Keep Life Simple, okay? Um, it does have Keep It Simple, or you can do to Keep Life sim Simple, um, and then it's got these really pretty add-ons to add on to your project. So um, that's what I'm gonna work on today, and I am using our Grayson board. And as I've told you guys before, so this was what I had done for summer. I'm starting to transition my house into fall and just some more like general, um, designs, some year round designs. So I'm going to take off this summer stuff. So, um, I am using our misting bottle right now. Um, you can go get these from my website. Um, but I'm using the misting bottle and I'm going to let this sit for a second while we talk. And then I'm going to use my scraper, scrape all this extra paint off, use my board eraser and get any ghosting off. And then we are going to be set to go with like a brand new board. So that's one of the things that I love about Chalk Couture is that I can reuse things. Um, for those of you that are new, Chalk Couture is a DIY um, decor company um, that they deal with transfers, which are silk screen transfers. So there's silk in where all these white spaces are um, with the surfaces, um, all the tools that you need to make the items. Um, and the transfers are reusable six to eight times. So um, like this would be great to make for gifts for your girlfriends. Um, and so you can reuse it or like I do, since I change it for the seasons next year, if I wash this off and let's say do Christmas on it next year, I can redo this again. And then I can have, um, have this back again. And so if I only use it once a year, I'll get six to eight years of it. So, which is nice. Um, and then our Grayson boards, what I love about the Grayson boards, it's got the white frame with the black chalkboard. Um, our chalkboards are amazing. They're made especially for our paste and they are washable. Um, and our paste goes on wet. Is it one yet? Hi. No, it's not. Our paste goes on wet. So I can't play with my friend. You can go over there and see it's time. Um, you want to say hi? So this is my son, Layton. Hi. So he made some chocolate tour last night, and so we have fun doing it together. Um, can you can pick I up what you draw? Guys? Can you pick up what you draw? And I see somebody's watching. If you can just comment and say hi, and that way I know you're here. Um, and so let's get going. This has been sitting for a while. Like I said, it starts out wet, dries dry, um, where you can actually rub it and touch it, and it won't come off. Okay, Layton. Okay. Oh, you want to show him? Okay, bring him. Baseball transfers, and it's got the baseball bat, the mitt, and the baseball. It says swing for the fences and play ball. He did such a good job on this last night. So he's got it in his room, sitting on his shelf. No, I don't. Um, so it's great for kids too, which is awesome. Okay, so let's do this. So I used the spray bottle. I'm re-wetting it since it um, since it starts out wet, goes dry. Once you get it wet, it turns back into like a chalk paste, sort of. And so I'm just scraping off the excess paste. Now, I personally, um, I personally was one of those people where I'm like, I don't know why I would buy a scraper because I can just wash it off by hand. Let me tell you, the ease of scraping this, I would have been here for about five more minutes trying to scrape, get all this paste off. I would have had to let it soak a whole lot longer. Um, so I'm one of those people where I'm like, okay, if I have stuff around the house that I can already use, then I will. I haven't found anything around my house that works as well as this does. Um, so I've scraped off the excess paint. I'm just gonna wipe down a bit. And you can see, I wanted to show you what ghosting looks like so you knew what I was talking about. 
So sometimes after you wash off our transfers, you get what's called ghosting where you can still see the words. So um, life and the bottom of beach, you can still see where some of that design is on there. So what I do is I'm just gonna spray this down one more time and get it wet. I'm gonna take our board eraser and with little to no effort or time, it takes off all of that ghosting. And now, just clean it all off, make sure it's dry, because I want to put everything back on a dry board. And there you go. Now you can see like the sh where it was, but that's not ghosting and that'll be covered up completely when I wax on it. But there's no more wax left on, or no more paste left on that board. It's completely black again. So that is the amazing thing about our product, okay? So I'm just getting any, normally I would use a towel, but yeah, look at that. And now even once it's dry, you can't see that on there anymore. I'm loving it. Now, the one thing I always wanna make sure is that our hooks are at the top or the side, whichever direction I'm gonna go. Um, and now I'm gonna get to our transfer. <laughs> Because this is what makes the magic happen. Hi, Nancy. How are you? Um, and I'm going to use our trimmers. I mentioned these in my live the other night in my VIP group. Um, these trimmers are amazing. So our transfers come with cut lines if they're meant to be cut. So these white lines in between each section are cut lines, and you just cut along them. And then it gives you the pieces that you need. And the nice thing is I can place these however I want them to go. I can get creative and mix and match transfers if I want. And I'm just gonna cut the smaller words now. Super duper easy to use. You guys are gonna love this. Now, for those of you that are new that have never been here before, do me a favor. If you will comment below, group. I have a VIP group. It's where I run any specials. It's where um, I do extra lives from time to time just for my VIP group. Um, it's kind of my little bit my community and so if you want to join my group go ahead and just type group in the comments and then I will I am you with the link so that you can join up um, also if you're interested in the opportunity of Chalk Couture and creating your own what I like to call little um, business in a box is what it comes with it's $99 to start with tax and shipping here in the US it comes to about $125 total once you get the tax and shipping um, but it's $99 to start. It is $19.99 um, a month, but you get the monthly transfer each month. So you get a brand new transfer each month and you get access to your own website where people can go buy things. So um, it's really neat. And as you'll see, it's super easy. So it's great to share this with people and show them how it's done. Okay, so I am going to pick my colors. I have an idea of what I wanted to do. And no, thank you. I will do it as soon as I'm, I'm, no, no, thank you. I will do it as soon as I'm done with my life. As soon as I'm done with my life. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to use, I'm going to keep it really simple. Hi, Sandy. Um, I'm going to keep it really simple. I'm going to use our bright white. Um, which is like a staple piece. And then I am for the leaves gonna use our sage. Um, so let me get these open and get these prepped. And our paste should be, um, somebody described it as cake batter consistency, which I love that description. So it should kind of be creamy and drip off there. Um, let me just put a little bit of water in here because they are chalk paste um, as they sit out they do tend to dry 
Um, and so they'll get a little bit thick, but you just add water to them and it makes them good as new. So that's kind of cool. Okay, so this is nice and creamy. So I'm gonna set this off here to the side. And I always keep paper towels around because it never fails. I am the messiest creator ever. And then we're also gonna use our sage. I just opened this one last night. Okay, so both of those are ready to go. Now, I just need to figure out how I want my transfers to go. The other thing is when our transfers first um, come out of the package, they are really, really sticky. Um, and I like that because it helps it last for those six to eight uses that you're supposed to get out of it. So um, what I do is I fuzz my transfers. I have one of our fuzzing towels you can use just a regular bath towel. like So there's a terry cloth side and you can tell I've used this and loved it a lot. Um, and then on the back is a microfiber side that is great for when you're um, drying off after you scrape things off um, or to use for cleanup because it won't leave any lint. Now this side, what we're doing when we fuzz is I'm literally just picking up some of the lint off of the um, towel and these are like stickers, okay? Um, my girls are gonna call me out because I didn't do it. I always, always, always label the back of my transfer. So this one, I'm just gonna write simple. Because there's multiple pieces, sometimes the pieces are very similar in size, like these two. Um, I am going to write one, and I'm gonna write two, and then on the back, I'm gonna write one, and I'm gonna write two. The other thing with these is only one side is good for sticking the transfer back on. There's a shiny side, and I don't know if you can see the shine on there, and then there's a not so shiny side, but they both have a little bit of shine to them, and sometimes it's hard to tell. If you stick it to the wrong side, it's gonna get stuck there forever, and we don't want that, and it'll ruin your transfer. So, I am making sure that I use, um, I write on the back, so that way there's no question. I know that it goes on this side so that I can read the back. Make sense? Just gives me a better idea of where everything goes. Um, I'm gonna label this one keep. Don't have to label it fancy. I know some people will just number theirs. And this one is life. And this one is it. And so that way, when I go back, and I'll show you, um, I'll tell you about cleaning them off here in a minute, but when I go back after I've cleaned them, so literally I'm just putting this on my fuzzing tail and I'm ripping it off and it pulls up just a little bit of that lint, takes, takes a tiny bit of the sticky off temporarily. It's not actually taking the sticky off, it's just making it where that lint is there and keeping the whole transfer from sticking and it just kind of helps you take it off a little bit easier. Again, I'm just gonna check and make sure I didn't turn it around or flip it around. Okay, so my plan, I'm not gonna press this down all the way, I just wanna get them on here. So I was thinking keep it simple and then using the flower or the leaves Did that go there we go there we go okay now I've got it um, and then using these leaves on the top and on the bottom so I just want to leave enough room for that to happen so I already can tell that I need to move my simple down just a bit and just I'm gonna center it and make sure it is as straight as possible. And then on this one, let's set those there. Same thing, I'm gonna fuzz this puppy up. Usually with a new transfer, I do it like three times. 
just to make sure it's fuzzed. Those are setting there. Just making sure it is centered and straight. My keep is a little crooked. So I'm just gonna peel it off. Much better. Okay, these two I'm gonna do in our white. So they're gonna be super easy to just one and done them. So I'm gonna take our small squeegee. Small squeegees are $4.99 on our website and I'll actually go through and give you the price for this entire bundle. I'm gonna be placing an order next week and so if you're interested in this exact bundle, so the Grayson board, keep life simple, um, a white jar of chalk paste and a squeegee. Um, it's going to be a $50 bundle and um, saves you $3 plus no tax or shipping. I'm going to take care of that on my end. So um, it actually saves you a lot of money that way. Or you can go on my site and buy it yourself. But um, I'm going to be placing an order. So if you're here locally in the Reading area, um, even as far up as Mount Shasta because we go see my parents, um, I can order this for you and then deliver it. Okay. So let's start with our white. So we've already gone through and made sure that it was super duper creamy. And now I'm just putting um, it on my squeegee and I am just spreading it on. And then I take my squeegee, scrape off the excess and put it back in the jar. The great thing about this, you really, really, really are not using much at all. And so, um, the white lasts forever, or any of the colors last forever because you're not using it much at all. So peeled it off. Um, I'm putting it in a water bath just to keep it from drying out um, until after the live. And then after the live, I'm gonna go in and wash it off and set it to dry. So here is keep. Again, the simplest thing in the world. It looks beautiful. My lines are crisp. Um, I could not do this by hand and I am creative. Um, I'm just not like artistic. I can't draw. I can't draw a straight line. So this is amazing to help me uh, to help me make things and be creative and help my house look pretty. Um, and it makes me feel good knowing that I have created something. Um, so those are done. Just gonna put it, push it down in my water. I'm gonna save my squeegee just in case we have any more white we need to do. So that is keep and simple, already done. I'm loving it already. Just love this stuff. Okay, the other thing I'm gonna do excuse me for going out of camera range. I'm gonna dry it. So um, I wanna do it on super low heat. I'm just gonna do it on low air. I'm just using a hair dryer, but we don't want heat. Um, it dries super fast on its own, but because I'm layering and I'm live, I don't want this to take forever. So I'm just using a hair dryer and helping it go a little bit faster. We're getting there. So, um, 
trying to think what else in the meantime we can talk about. When I'm done here, I'll post my website in the comments so you guys will know if you want to pick up your own. Um, you can go ahead and head over to my website. It's a super, super simple shopping experience. Okay, there we go. Now, again, look, it's dry. So I'm able to rub on it. It's not rubbing off. It's not like normal chalk. It's not like normal chalk like when you go to school and you write on your chalkboard. It's not like that. Um, but yeah, so now it's dry. I can rub on it and it's not coming off. If I get it wet, um, I can rub it off, but um, I don't wanna do that right now. So I'm debating, do we do keep life simple or do we do keep it simple? I think I'm gonna do keep it simple. So again, I'm gonna fuzz. And I don't know how I did this upside down, but I did. Okay, so I'm gonna do them this way on the top and then opposite way on the bottom. And then these I'm gonna do in our sage. My living room has a sage um, paint on the walls, a sage type color, just a very pale green. So I thought the sage would go perfect and so this will match my living room perfectly. So here is number one. And then I'm just pushing out all the bubbles, making sure there's no bubbles in it. Hi, let me know you're here when you pop on, say hello. Let me know who's here. So today we're making Keep It Simple um, on our Grayson board with our size B transfer. Um, I've had a few of you ask me, well, what's a size B transfer? So our transfers, they go by sizes to kind of keep them straight. All of our five by sevens. So I'm not gonna be able to put this on right now because it would overlap. So I'm just gonna do the left-hand side, top and bottom, but I can put it on there and get that on there as well. Um, all of our five by sevens, five by seven transfers. So this is a five by seven transfer. Okay, it's our size A. Um, the one I'm doing today is size B. It is a nine by 12. And then we go all the way up to E. There's a C, D, and E. And then we have boards to match. Like I said, this is our nine by 12 board. And I think I just wanna off center, not off center it, but make it a little cattywampus. I like it. Okay, just kind of thinking things through. And now I'm gonna use one of our mini squeegees. You can get these on our site as well. Um, they are, let me just stir this one more time. So let me do the it really quick. We'll get that in there and done. Peel it and let it start drying. So again, putting it on, and then I'm just scraping off any of that excess and putting it back into my jar. Um, so that way, I'm not wasting anything. There's it. And now I'm gonna do the leaf up here. Again, quick, if I can do it in as little strokes as possible, I like to do that. Okay, 
there's flower number one. And then I'm gonna do it again down here at the bottom. Just replacing it again and then quickly going back over it. Peeling and revealing. Okay, so now we are done with those two sections. So we're getting there. So keep it simple is done. And now I've got the, um, the greenery on the top and the bottom. And I love that it's not in your face. It's not super duper um, bright and loud because my tones in my living room are kind of muted. So, um, so this will be perfect. And then because we're gonna be layering, I'm gonna go over my leaves. Both top and bottom, I'm gonna go over my leaves and make sure that they're dry. We will do number two. So we're just going to go for the same thing on the other side. Press it down, make sure there's no bubbles. Come through with your paste. And again, just swipe it on and take off the excess. So easy. Now, the reason that I made sure to blow dry before um, before I did this layer is because part of my transfer is going on top of what I've already transferred, the sticky part is. And I really, 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 really do not want the sticky from my transfer to pull up my design from the one below. So that's why I dry it. Once it's dry, it's a lot less likely to pull up, okay? Ta-da! How cute is that? I love it. It's going to go great in my house. It's going to fit with my decor. So you guys can pick the colors that you guys want to use for your home. That's the amazing thing. I don't know if you can see my bucket over here, but I've got, um, feels like a million colors over here. Um, but we have about 35 different paste colors. Um, we have shimmer colors that have glitter in them, so they will make your um, stuff sparkle. Um, I'm going to clean up here really quick while we're talking. And then, um, so, just putting everything in my water bath. And then, like I said, as soon as I am done here, I will go wash everything off. Um, so, again, once again, my name is Marianne. I am an independent designer for Chalk Couture. Um, tonight, today I showed you a simple project with one of our size B transfers, our Grayson frame. Um, and I worked out a deal where you can do the Grayson frame, the transfer, one jar of chalk paste. Um, so typically people choose white, but if you have another color you want to do, just let me know. And then one small squeegee, which is, um, this size squeegee, which is perfect for the whole job. Okay. Um, that bundle is going to be $50. 
I will be putting in an order, so just let me know. I'll be putting in the order next week. And so then we just have to allow some time for it to arrive. Um, but when I'm actually able to place the order, I'll just send you a square invoice. You go ahead and pay that, and when it comes in, I'll deliver. So um, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and message me. Um, take a look at the page and make sure you check out the event next Saturday where we're doing the pumpkins, which is super, super awesome. Um, the pumpkins are in stock on my page, but the transfers are not. And so if you want to get to make these without having to wait for them to come back into stock, come on over and we'll make some, okay? So I really, really appreciate you guys being here. Again, comment group if you're interested in joining my VIP group. Comment opportunity if you want to learn more about Chalk Couture and the business side of it. Um, and then you can comment bundle box if you're interested in the bundle box. And I'll send you an instant message and we'll go from there. So I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. I'm going to get up here because my camera's way over there and get this turned off. But I appreciate you all hanging in. Thanks so much. Bye.